someone thought it'd be a good idea to, uh, someone who knew nothing about bees, thought it'd be a good idea to start an apiary as a good way to pass time during the pandemic. And so the, um, the Westminster Bee Company is an offshoot of that. Coming into college, I, I never imagined beekeeping before. Well, what made me want to join this whole project uh, was definitely just the opportunity of just doing something outside of just the typical everyday classroom. We're all college students. Um, none of us really know exactly what we're doing. It's all been really fun trying to figure it out um, together. Uh, so we currently have around 25 to 30 hives. Each one of these hives can hold anywhere from 40,000 to well over six figures and we're out there on a weekly basis making sure uh, the bees are doing well and everything's functioning properly. You know, you see the honey in the bottle and you think that it's just something that's really simple and you don't realize how much work goes into that. It starts by us opening up the hives and going through each of the frames individually to see how much honey is there. Um, students are involved in decapping the, the frames. Um, they're, you know, we have, I don't know, uh, honey processing parties. Is that fair to say? I'm not sure I'd call it a party. It's more <laughs> of a, a sticky gathering. Um, we start by pulling the beeswax layer off of the honey. This allows the honey to flow free, freely. The frames are then transferred into a nine frame centrifuge. Which is then spun in a centrifuge to collect the honey into a bucket. The product, it goes into a bottling machine that heats the honey up. Honey is a very viscous, thick thick uh, fluid, many of you know, so heating it up ensures that we could uh, bottle everything in a timely manner. From bottling it, throw a label on it, put the lid on it, and then make sure corners are pressed down on the label, and then you box it, and then you're ready to sell it. So it's pretty, pretty, you know, interesting process, and it was cool because I played a part in all of them, and it's pretty cool just to say that you did that, you know. Our very supportive storefront. Yeah, yeah, our honey is for sale in the campus store. The manager of the store and the people working at the store are very supportive and um, certainly help uh, promote the sales. Their first order, they, I think they requested maybe... 15, 20? Yeah, not very many jars of honey. They weren't really sure how it was going to sell. The last order I got from them was for 150 jars, um, and we're, we're about sold out. Um, that's um, supply and demand for you. What was set up at our table was uh, we have two uh, raw combs of honey and with some wooden spoons and you know we would have our customers come up and they could either eat the wax or not and then just dig right into the comb themselves and because uh, most of the time like that's the first time seeing honey that way you know and uh, so they would just dig right in and they try it and you know, we would give them some information where they even would come up and ask questions. You know, just to educate the people on it was just awesome too. You know, even if they didn't buy anything, just to give them that piece of uh, information was pretty cool. All of the businessy things that I was worried about are a lot less um, intimidating now. And Dr. V and the entire class, all of us as a team, has made it a lot more manageable. So I've created our own Instagram which is really cool. I specifically have been interviewed on TV with some of the other kids in our class um, to get it out to the news. On, on paper and online, it's very easy. But we found that, that bees watch far fewer YouTube videos than I do. <laughs> and so they don't always cooperate. And that's a major challenge for any beekeeper as they start out. As far as the company goes. It's just nature's nectar and you know, it's really cool how a little insect like a bee can come up with something like that and it can be so universal, you know.